Breaking news, a PlayStation 5 Pro is rumored to be released alongside the base PlayStation 5. What does this mean for consumers if true? Well, let's get into it. What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It is your boy, MM2K, back again with another one. Do me a huge favor. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Rock those bells for notifications, please. Unless you know, when your boy's dropping these doses, I appreciate all of y'all straight up, because y'all know the deal. I am not too proud to ask. Okay, let's get into it, y'all. Um, So supposedly, again, PlayStation 5 Pro is being released. Let's break this up into three parts. You know how your boy likes to do it. I like to do the checkup of the situation. I like to drop the analysis and finally give you that prescription. So first, the checkup. PlayStation 4 has been a juggernaut, as we all know, this generation. It is outpaced at this time of this recording the performance sales of the PlayStation 2, which we thought would be would be impossible, but it is, it's doing it so far. With that said, its successor, the PlayStation 5, is believed to be in heavy anticipation, partially due to features such as reported full backwards compatibility with PlayStation 4 titles. Its specs are also appraised with reported rapid load times and, and other such features. Now, there are reports that there will be a PlayStation 5 Pro model at launch with the base PlayStation 5. Now, this story comes to us via WCCF Tech, and I am going to read you just some, just a little bit of this article. Let's get into it. Check this out, guys and gals. All right, PlayStation 5 Pro to release together with base model is uh, reported right now as a rumor. All right, at WCCF Tech. And the article reads, the current console generation is the first one that saw the release of the high-end models of base consoles from Sony and Microsoft. It seems like it will be the same for the next generation of consoles. While Sony has yet to say anything about the matter, it seems like a PlayStation 5 Pro model will indeed be released and better yet, it will be released alongside the base model. Now, according to Japanese journalist, Zinji N Nishikawa, I know I butchered that, I apologize. Uh, Sony is launching two different PlayStation 5 models next year in the base and the pro model. According to the journalist, Sony has acknowledged the interest in a high-end model and wants to give players what they want right from the beginning of the generation. All right, so with that said, this story creates three questions. Now it comes to prescription, all right. The analysis was me reading that story to you guys. All right, so the three questions are, first, question one. If this is true, which of the specs laid out by Mark Cerny in early 2019 are of the base PlayStation 5 opposed to this PlayStation 5 Pro? You know, the whole rapid loading and all that, you know, all that stuff that they showed off with Spider-Man and did in that one interview? Which of those features are coming with the base model? And which of those features are exclusive to the PlayStation 5 Pro model? Or, you know, it, 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 is it all or some or none that's coming with the, 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 the base model? We need to know that. Being that they've already laid out that foundation and got everybody all excited about these capabilities, we need to know which is coming with what, right? Question two, how are developers going to feel about this? You know, being that well, let me say this. First and foremost, that we've seen this model before, supposedly, with the supposed Lockhart and Anaconda models that were going to be released under the Scarlet Wing, right? And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, um, Scarlet is the code name for Xbox's new generation of, of consoles at, at launch of the generation. There was, going to, there was supposedly going to be two models. Those two models were going to be Lockhart and Anaconda, similar to what we're hearing about a PlayStation 5 and a PlayStation 5 Pro. But here's the thing. Um, people have been saying that Lockhart was a rumor, and it's not a rumor. It wasn't a rumor, according to uh, a lot of credible sources. You know, people were saying that Lockhart was a rumor made up by Windows Central, and that's not the case. It's not some Windows Central wives' tale. Brad Sams of Thornton.com, a Microsoft Central publication, reported on Lockhart first. So let's just get that out of the way. 
also they supposedly talked about xbox out of the, uh, these suppose these developers talk xbox out of a lockhart anaconda release model due to parity issues and the parity issues were according to them trying to perform or program for multiple spec consoles was going to supposedly cause them to have to scale up games from the base model because it would be too difficult to tap the power of different spec systems especially at launch now what does that mean that means that supposedly at launch developers we're going to take the Lockhart model, which was the lower spec model, and just take the resolution and bump it up from there. Not totally taking advantage of the power of Anaconda. Xbox didn't want that. They heard the blowback, so they canceled Lockhart and said, all right, just focus on um, the Anaconda model. So if that was a problem for Xbox, wouldn't that still be a problem for uh, PlayStation 5 and the PlayStation 5 Pro models? You know what I'm saying? Like, we don't want them specking up, right? I don't think potential PlayStation 5 owners or just PlayStation enthusiasts want specked up games not utilizing the full power of the PlayStation 5 Pro, correct? And speaking of enthusiasts, that brings me to my third question. What about all those uh, PlayStation enthusiasts on social media who said that the Lockhart slash Anaconda model was stupid? <laughs> Remember that? Y'all might have short memories, but your boy don't. Your boy MM2K, my Triple B brethren, like the real Maslin, Post Up, Nichols, and Noah, oh, we got them receipts. So believe you me, if I see any of you PlayStation people capping, for potential PlayStation 5 Pro, the hypocrisy will be brought to light. <laughs> and with that being said, I've had fun with this article. That's it though, from your boy MM2K. Hey yo, let me know what you think about what I had to say in the comment section below, because like I always tell you, who cares what I think? But if you did like what I had to say, check out the links below to follow me. Yo, I do a show with your people, Snow Bunny, Nethos, Dirk Griggity, it's called Scrampunks. We do it on Dirk Griggity's channel every Wednesday, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. But we are now moving to a new time. That's right. We are moving to Mondays. Mondays at 9 p.m. Just stay tuned for more information on that or just look up hashtag Scrampunks for more information. All of my brethren on the broadband bullies, we are doing the damn thing. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon because we need y'all support. Check out the link to the gear because it's fly. And check out the Best Damn Podcast. We're doing a major giveaway, all right? A major giveaway. Let me just show y'all what this giveaway is all about, all right? It is posted. Go to MM2K on Twitter. And pinned to my Twitter profile, you'll see all the details in regards to this giveaway. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this. Look at all this gaming goodness. Look at that. Look at this. Oh my goodness, look. Check that out. Oh my. All right, so with that said, go to my profile to get details on how to see if you're eligible for this giveaway. So go check soon rather than later because the ball's about to drop. We're about to give this, this, this beautiful package out. And with that said, also check out your boy on the Hard Knock Digital Culture, hndc.live. All this week, I'm going to be recording and streaming Borderlands 3. We do hardcore gaming. We do hardcore um, um, anime. And we do hardcore martial arts that we highlight all on the HNDC. All right, so check that out. And with that being said, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day. Peace.